Jam Party. Please welcome our contestants. Player yeah! one. Yeah! Player two. <laughs> Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. From screen to stage. 1907. CSI Shakespeare. Prefixes. Drink it, dance it, or drive it. And do the math. Player one, you start. X marks the spot where the musical, inspired by this Olivia Newton-John film about a roller disco, rolled onto Broadway. Player one. That's good. Player one. The musical Here is Love was based on this 1947 film in which the real Kris Kringle is hired to work at Macy's. Player one. Beep, right. beep. We return to you. It's the Daily Double. You are in first place. How much are you going to wager, player one? Okay, here is the clue. A handful of actors play more than 100 roles in The 39 Steps, based on this director's 1935 suspense classic. You have maintained your lead. Here you go. Player One. Back. A Wonderful Life is a charming musical adaptation of this director's classic film, It's a Wonderful Life. Player One. Right. <laughs> Please pick again. In the musical Legally Blonde, Blonde Ambition takes Elle Woods all the way to this university's law school. Yes, player one. That's right. Way to go. Select again. Florence Ziegfeld produced his first of these extravaganzas in 1907 and would continue them for the next 24 years. It's player two. That's correct. All right, let's go. For works like Gunga Din, he became the first Brit awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> Player one, with this man as president, the government budget was $579 million, and unemployment stood at 2.8%. Okay, player one. Good for you. Select again. Charles Curtis, Republican, Kansas, became the first Native American to serve as one of these. Yes, player two. Oh. Good. A lot of clues. More than 40 nations attended the second international this conference in The Hague. Okay, player one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> player one, where do we start? Stabbed the king and made him drink poison. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark, and it's him. Player three? Yes. <laughs> Player three? Witness says, he does murder sleep. And the guy okayed the hit on Banquo. But what we have here, Frank, is regicide. It's player one. Good. Yeah. 
Player one? Blood spatter says the guy killed Paris, then himself. The girl stabbed herself. Ain't love grand? Let's hear it, player one. Good. <laughs> Please pick again. Three Dead Daughters by Poison, Hanging, and Suicide. I wouldn't want to write the family Christmas card this year. It's player three. Good. <laughs> player three. The Duke's been stabbed, then drowned in a barrel of wine. Looks like the drinks are on him. Yes, player two. Yeah! Yes. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player two. Medically speaking, hemo, hema, and himato all mean this. Yes, player one? You are correct. <laughs> player one? Before standard and marine, it means below. Let's hear it, player two. That's it. Where do we begin? Before biography or graph, it means self. Player two. Good. We return to you. It puts the fire before techniques and mania. Player one. Good. <laughs> Where do we begin? This prefix turns one byte of data into about a billion. Player three? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Player three? You start. Cabriolet. Yes, player two. Right. Player two. Hambo. It's player three. Right. <laughs> player three. Kirsch. Yes, player three. Right. <laughs> Player three, Trabant. Let's hear it, player two. Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> player two, Wapala. Player one. Yeah. Oh, a lot of clues, a lot of categories. 39xy divided by 3x equals this. Yes, player two. Good. Yeah. Player two. Add 20, 21, and 22, multiply by 3, and you get this. It's player three. That's correct. <laughs> Player three? Negative four times negative four times negative two times negative two equals this. Player three? Woo! That's correct. <laughs> Player three? If 7x plus 5 equals 40, x equals this. Let's hear it, player two. Oh. Hey, you're right. Let's have a look at the thousand dollar clue. From the Greek for stretch, it's the term for the longest side of a right triangle. Let's hear it, player two. Woo. Yes. 
Player 3, you're going first in the Double Jeopardy round when we return. Categories for the Double Jeopardy round are... Movie Folk iPod Title Ballet Women Constellations Politicians and Philosophy Player 3, you're in last place, which means you get to select first in Double Jeopardy. Rejected by USC Film School, this S in DreamWorks SKG now sits on the Film School's Board of Counselors. Okay, Player 1. That's right, way to go! Player 1. Jerry Maguire was originally written for Tom, not Cruz, but him. Player 1. Yes. <laughs> Please pick again. He majored in journalism at Fordham before playing a newspaper reporter in the Pelican Brief. Okay, Player 1. You are correct. <laughs> Player one. This actor got his name by giving his mom a fetal kick while she viewed a Da Vinci work. Okay, player one. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> we return to you. To get orc war screams for The Lord of the Rings, this director put phonetic yells on a scoreboard for 25,000 cricket fans. Yes, player two. Right you are. All right, let's get back into this. Player two has control of the board. Chili name of the head of lettuce that's cut into quarters to make a wedge salad. Let's hear it, player three. Right. A lot of clues. Here's Sarah with the clue. When graphing the equation y equals 2x plus 1, the line intersects the y-axis at 1. In general, the point where the line crosses is called the y-this. Let's hear it, player 2. Yep. <laughs> Player two. From the Latin for unable to speak, this three-syllable word means extremely childish. Let's hear it, player two. Yeah! Oh, you're right. Player two. Meaning beyond memory, this type of time originally referred to the period before 1189 A.D. Okay, player three. Yeah. Right. <laughs> player three. This Austrian city's name is German for bridge over the Inn River. Okay, player one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> player one, start us. 1949 saw the first ballet version of this operatic Bizet work that features Don Jose and a Toreador. It's player two. Wow! Yes. <laughs> player two. The evil priest Frollo wants Esmeralda, but she's saved by a man named this. Player one. Yes! <laughs> Player one. Margot Fontaine dazzled audiences as Princess Aurora in this ballet. Okay, Player one. Yes! <laughs> Player one. This Kenneth Macmillan ballet intrigues with the curious story of the last of the four daughters of Tsar Nicholas II. Yes, player two. 
All right, let's get this Greek gal falls for her stepson Hippolytus in a ballet based on Racine's tragedy. Player three. All right. Okay, let's get back into this. Player three, you make the next selection as we continue. In the late 16th century, this Flemish cartographer projected the constellations onto star globes. Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. All right, let's get back. Ptolemy listed a constellation named for this, Jason's ship. It's been replaced by Carina, Puppis, Pyxis, and Vila. It's player two. That's right. Way to go. Okay, let's get back in. The bright star Betelgeuse marks one of the shoulders of this constellation. It's player two. You got it. Please pick again. And here's Kelly. This constellation stretches from the claws to the stinger. It's player one. That's correct. Where do we begin, player one? In the 1680s, Johannes Hevelius added seven new constellations, including Vulpecula, the little this. Let's hear it, player three. Good for you! <laughs> Player three, you're in command of the board as we continue right now. This former senator was the first African-American president of the Harvard Law Review. Let's hear it, Player one. <laughs> That's correct. All right, let's get back into... Th in 2004, this North Carolinian was almost the vice president-elect. It's player three. That's right. Way to go. A lot of clues, a lot. Before he was New York City mayor, he was the U.S. attorney who prosecuted the mafia in the Pizza Connection case. Yes, player three. Right you are. <laughs> Player three. We hope Silvestri Reyes can keep secrets. In 2007, he became chair of the House Permanent Select Committee on this. Yes, Player one. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's get back into this. <laughs> the first of the two daily doubles. And you're in the lead now. Player one, answer this. This former Massachusetts governor was CEO of the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Player one, choose again. Cartesian refers to the ideas of this man, the father of modern philosophy. Okay, player three. That's correct. Yeah! Player three. The first Greek philosophers tried to understand the universe, practicing this ology, from the Greek for order. Okay, player two. Woo! That's it. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. <laughs> Answer. The other daily double. You are currently in second place. Player two, please select your wager. Answer. Fideists say that the source of religious belief is not reason, but this. That is correct. Player two. This German philosopher's idea of the Ubermensch included people like Frederick the Great. 
Yes, player three. <laughs> now let's take a look at that $2,000 clue, shall we? The opposite of determinism is this two-word phrase used in an 1889 Henri Bergson book title. Player three? Yes. <laughs> Good game, game. All of you will continue on to play Final Jeopardy when we return. Consider your wagers carefully as you think on this category. Traveling the globe, you need to select your wager. Final Jeopardy clue is as follows. Flying due west from Los Angeles, it's the first foreign country you would reach. What did you put as your response? And that correct response will add... Let's see your response. And that correct response will add... What did you say? And that correct response will add... <laughs> you come out ahead as our champion, Player 3. We'll see you next time.